Software updates begin reaching variants of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Gear. Motorola's plans to sell you wooden variants of the Moto X continue to surface, and it seems that Apple is finally catching up with their demands of the iPhone 5S. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I apologize for the noise, trust me, it's not raining cats and dogs, it sounds more like elephants and lions, but this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start off with some official news, as those of you that are carrying a T-Mobile variant of the Galaxy S4 will be lucky to be getting Android 4.3 as of today. You know how those rollouts work, but it means that the variants of the Galaxy S4 in the United States are finally getting 4.3, so this is good for 4.4 whenever that happens. But aside from that, if you're using a US variant of the Galaxy Gear, you should also be getting an update today or probably tomorrow, or in the next coming days, that'll bring you the enhancements that were brought to the European Galaxy Gear, which which actually helps you with your notifications and everything. So yeah, very compelling update. And speaking of Samsung, we've got more details of the Samsung Galaxy S5 when it comes to its timeline and when it comes to specifications. We've got a 64-bit Exynos processor along with more RAM and everything and links down below for details. But even more interesting is that apparently Samsung is planning to launch two phones. And listen to this, we're gonna get one that's metallic and one that's plastic and more affordable. And if it doesn't ring a bell to you, just think iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C as well. Apparently the timelines will be somewhere in early 2014, not necessarily May so stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about Nokia as the company has just announced their Nokia Lumia 525 and the reason why this is important is because this is a very affordable and quite good phone that's going to be launched here. I mean, for this is pretty much a sequel to the 520, only this one won't cost you $100 on the home shopping network. It'll cost you $200 unlocked, no contract, nothing, which is great. And the specifications are quite decent. It's a decent bump from the 520. So this is a good competitor to the Moto G if you want to pay very little for a phone that's actually good. And and specifications, so links to the description for details. And speaking of Motorola, please raise your hands. Which of you are still interested in getting a wooden phone? I know, nobody, but anyways, the company is apparently teasing that they will have their wooden Moto X by the holiday season, which, well, should be in the next coming days, but actually it's apparently three weeks from now. So if you're expecting a Moto X with a wooden bag, apparently you will have to pay an extra amount of money. We don't know details on that just yet, but you know, the biggest question would be, how about Motorola if you give me the wooden bag and even charge me a little more money for a better camera? I'd be willing to pay for that. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, it seems that Apple has finally begun to meet their demands with the iPhone 5S for those of you that are still wanting to buy this phone. According to surveys and analysts, the company is now being able to meet 90% of their demand, meaning 90% of the people that want the phone now can get it now. And not like in the case of many people that have waited almost a month to be able to get this phone. But you know, I always ask myself this question and that leads me to the question of the day. Do you believe that all this extra demand of every iPhone that gets launched is real or just fake for the company to drive demand for the phone? Because honestly, in my particular case, I just can't believe that Apple, after so many years, cannot figure out how to meet the demand of this phone. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.